Hi, it's Brad Shores with Tropical Shores Steel Drum Lessons. On today's lesson, we're going to talk about the 10cc song called Dreadlock Holiday. Well, this is a not a widely known song by 10cc, but it's a great song to solo on, and it's a great song to, uh, to play at any event. It's kind of a reggae um, song, and it has not too many chords in it. It's in the key of G minor, and the G blues scale works fantastic over pretty much all the whole song. And uh, so... Right off the bat, though, uh, on the fifth line, of the, uh, sorry, on the second line of the music, it outlines the chord, the G B flat D, right off the bat, and then the next chord goes, and those those three notes of those uh, those little patterns, those are actually the chords in the whole song, the G minor, which is G P G B flat D, and then F A C, but they do it backwards, they do C A F, and then they do E flat G B flat, which is the E flat chord. And those are the three, the three chords that are primarily used in this. There's a C minor chord, now and then a C, E flat, G. But again, all these, all these uh, chords are so... You could use the G minor scale over everything. Also, the G, the G blues scale, which we'll have annotated, similar to the G minor scale, but slightly different, works really great. Now I'm going to play a couple of blues licks that, that I like to play in that. So here we go. I did a lot of different things, but I'm going to show you a couple. Uh, I did the, the G pentatonic scale, but I might start on G. Sorry, that's the G minor scale. Or, to make the scale longer, I can start on low C, for instance, and do the same pattern. Start on C, keep going, but only do, do the same pattern. Now it sounds like a longer scale, but it, it's just it's the same scale, you just start on a different note. I use the blue scale a lot, as you can tell. I like that little lick, it's a little uh, uh, ornament there. 
and you play C sharp to D. Sometimes I did C sharp to D and D and F on a roll. I might go. It's a little bit more difficult, it takes a little hand speed. And just play that for a while. Just don't just uh, let it let it simmer, as I like to say. So uh, you can do the, the blues scale. You can do uh, uh, the the. Uh, you can outline the chords if you want. You could have done. I'm improving on that beginning uh, thing that, that where they go. You could use that as an improv thing too, because it follows the chords exactly. If you want to, that sounds kind of hip too. Uh, so the blues scale. Um, Ornaments, um, things like that work really good on here. A little turn. I like that. I'll do it slow. D to E flat, back to D. Faster. Really fast. Went down the G minor scale, but I started there. That's a nice little scale. So there's uh, a, a myriad of things to do here. But, the, you know, I also uh, wanted to tell you that on some of this, because you're using that high G all by itself, I like to double up on that. I might play the high and the low G. Gives a little bit more meat. This sounds different from. This sounds more meaty. You can tell I'm doubling up. I'm playing both G's, both F's. It just gives it more body, and I think it sounds better. If you can, that's a great way to do that. Um, there's a couple of things like um, on the melody where it goes. It's not really hard. You could go double up wherever you can. Just again, just sounds more professional. So, a uh, great song there. I would highly recommend Googling this or YouTubing this song and getting familiar with it because that makes a, a huge difference on the way you approach it. So, Google, it's 10cc is the name of the group and they did this, I don't know, a long time ago. So, uh, have fun with that. Well, that's it for this time. I want to thank you for watching the channel. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have music needs, go to tropicalshores.net. Also, visit panland.ning.com. It's a social network where there are uh, videos and pictures from people all over the world of what they're doing with their steel drum band. Sometimes there's downloadable music to have. So please visit that. And uh, if you have any uh, comments or questions on upcoming videos, things you'd like to see, please comment and we'll get to it when we can. Thanks. I'll see you next time.